Oh yes, it's great to have that music back again. I promised it and thus it has happened. Like some Mafia Hitman, I am bringing you the first in a new series of Kerbal Space Program, version 2.5 and with lots of mods. We'll go through what the mods are later, but I suppose the first thing we need to do is start a new game. Uh, we're going to call it the very near future, because I like to imagine that Kerbal is set in quite a... A very close time, you know. Um, right, career mode. We've got to play with our options, right? Now, well, I'm not going to go any of those apart from hard. I am actually going to do a bit of a custom thing because I like to have my science rewards set set to what it would normally be in easy or or, or standard or what. I, I don't know. I've not really played with all these all these great all this much, but I know that I definitely don't want any of these on. I definitely want these set to this, and this this looks good. I mean, a reputation penalty and a fun penalty. I mean, I'm not planning to, like, mess stuff up, so the penalty shouldn't really apply. Uh, and, as for the, cla uh, the flag, I love this one. I don't know what it is about this. Maybe it's the lime green. Maybe it's the, 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 the three different circles. I like it. It just it resonates with me. Right, should we get going? Let's... Ah, oh, the familiar tweets of the birds. So, straight off, new building. Love it. Um, I'm not going to mess around with this yet. I know there is stuff we can do here, but it's my first flight. I don't think we really need to worry about strategies as of this present moment in time. But what we do need to do is go say, all right, all right, Gene, how's it going, man? Yeah, how's your coffee addiction going? I see you've still got your little Parkinson's tweak on the, uh, tick on the go. Right, we are going to launch a new vessel, set an altitude record, and escape the atmosphere. Now, I really, really want to try and break into orbit this first flight, but I pre-warn you, even testing in sandbox, I've not been able to do it. But we're, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Yeah, damn straight, Gene, damn straight, Gene. Give us the thumbs up. We know we can do it, we can do it. Um, I'm gonna kind of cut here, I think. Cause, like, throwing my hands in the air, I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I'm gonna cut here, um, because, well, well, I'm not going to build the most amazing of rockets and you can probably figure out what I'm going to do or at least what I've built when you see it. So yeah, let's, let's cut forwards a little bit. You, you don't need to see me putting all these rubbish bits on here. And woo wee, will you look at that ship? Right, first off, I think we should talk about what we've got on our HUD. Um, well, no, let's talk about the ship first. First, Jebediah as normal, like a cock, has jumped into my uh, my cockpit without actually telling him to. I was kind of hoping we'd have Bob or Bill, but no, Jeb is there. Uh, you will notice that I have the flight engineer. Now, last episode or last season, I had uh, Void, um, the sort of the heads up display here. And whilst I really did enjoy that, I thought I'd give the the engineer a go this this time round. Uh, I also have the advanced nav ball with this scale slider, which I think is the best part of this. But more importantly, it gives me the uh, extra symbols on my my nav ball that tells me which way like my retrograde and stuff are in particular when it's off the side of the thing so I, I know which way to turn that, that's pretty much the only reason here uh, we've got the alarm clock as always uh, and you'll notice that I've got infernal robotics and stuff like that up here we'll talk about the full set in a second but first uh, shall we go yes that's oh bit of a shakedown below there like that uh, right so first off go try and keep it steady now Obviously, with the lack of decouplers, we're trying to explode these bottom ones up uh, in a correct order. In a correct order, in the correct order. Which means I've got to kind of watch this gauge here and try and judge when it's going to be ready for blowing up. Maybe about now. Uh, hopefully, I'll get it done before the middle one stops. Brilliant. That is exactly what I was hoping for. And now we just kind of boost our way up. Following a, a similar flight plan to what we normally would, uh, we're trying to go for uh, as much, as an efficient run as possible. Um, I, now, I know blowing stuff up isn't exactly the most efficient way that I could be doing it, but as I say, I ooh, didn't start that early enough. Oh, no, no. Ah, well, here we go. This is our space shot completely ruined because of that. But we should still break the atmosphere. I mean, I, I've got fuel... Oh, we are slowing down heavy, 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 heavy. All right, well, we've just got to just got to push it. Just got to go for what we can, right? Um, <laughs> though, right, what we can go for seems to be slowing down. Uh, let's just hit that, blow that up, and hopefully, there we go, with a little bit of a push, we'll, we'll come down to 
what the slowest speed is that we can get going, uh, where we can keep our speed climbing, the, the lowest amount of throttle where we can keep our speed climbing, but also get a bit of forward velocity on the go. Because this is what it's about. I mean, we need to get our forward velocity so we can get our, ooh, uh, so we can get our orbit going all the way around. Uh, as it is, it's not. No, all right, okay. So mid mid mission change of priorities. We're just going to kind of have to make sure we break the atmosphere. We we do not have the delta v to get rid of that minus five hundred apple uh, periaps there. Um, I don't think we'll, we'll try it. We're, we're going to go forward as fast as possible. Um, maybe not with our apple apps climbing all that much. Uh, in fact, we're we're out of out of fuel. We're all but out of fuel. Um, let's let's go. Do we want to go back? Do we want to head for there? Let, let's try and get as close as possible, shall we? As we've already messed it up. Uh, okay. Well, that that's about as well as we're going to do. Hopefully, it's enough to break atmosphere. Let's let's have a look here. Uh, is it? Is it? That's enough to break atmosphere. So we've not achieved orbit. I'm a little bit annoyed about that, but as I had said, we we were never going to really do it anyway. Um, so let's get Jebediah back down nicely, um, and maybe talk about what the different um, mods that I've got on the go this time are. Um, as I said, we've got the alarm clock. Uh, we've got the um, engineer. Uh, we've also got Keithane because hey, I like being able to go out and. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mine for fuel. Um, do, not because I like to make the game easier, but because I like to have something else to do. I mean, I know people see it as it being easier, and you know, not, you know what? I can see how people would say that. Um, but yeah, that, that's me. I like that. We've also got Infernal Robotics, because hey, who doesn't want to have things that can wave around at a distance? Uh, ScanSat, because huh, I love scanning planets. It makes me feel good just watching these little like blank slates turn into well, well-ordered um, pictures telling us exactly what's going on everywhere. Um, the Kerbal Attachment System, because oh my god, if I've got hard mode on and there's no way to revert flights and stuff, I want to be able to fix it um, sort of in orbit, ideally in orbit um what else we got uh so uh, the enhanced nav ball and fine print mainly because i wanted to give it a go uh for those of you that don't know fine print is kind of an addition to the contract system it gives you things like go build a space station which kerbal doesn't do um there's also like build a, there's a whole range of extra uh contracts that i think are entirely fitting to the game mode um as you may have noticed, I don't really mod games to make it easier, but then at the same time, I don't mod the games to make it harder. I just try and do things that I think are interesting additions to the game rather than make it easier or make it harder. All right, so how are we doing in, in flight? We are a kilometre and a half off the floor. Jebediah looks like he's loving it. I don't think we're going to kill him. And I tell you what, I forgot to do all the science whilst we were doing this. Let's quickly get a crew report. Too busy talking about the... Uh uh, the, the, all the mods and stuff we had on the go. That oh, that was a severe oversight there. But there we go. There's our first flight. Seemed to do all right. Let's get Jeb out and maybe do a bit of a, an EVA report. Because let's be honest, let's, um, we've, we've, we're missing all the science, so we might as well just do what we can. No, no, AV, yeah, we got the AV, EVA report. Okay, we're back in. Awesome. Did I take the crew report? I didn't take the crew report. Uh, so let's get him out. Let's grab the sides, let's take the data, all the data, let's store the experiments and get back in. Woo, I forgot how much hard work this could be. Let's get one final crew report. Ba bum, and we're going to recover the vessel. Woo! Bang, a massive 48 science. Um, it's not huge. But, you know, it's not, not small either. Uh, what did we get most of our science for? Of course, the, si the surface sample and the recovery of the flight. Um, that's good. We got all the parts back easy enough. And we got jet back. All right. So, if we go see Gene again. Uh, test a stack decoupler landed at Kerbin. Eh, no, I'm not feeling that. Let's go into the science. Right, so first off, blatantly need to buy this. I mean... Yeah, it gives us our science goo, We've got some stack disc couplers, uh, extra fuel tanks, in particular this large fuel tank. I love it. Um, right, what have we got here? Um, liquid fuel engines, solid boosters, that's pretty good. I mean, can we afford all of it? 20, 18, 50? Oh, I don't think we can. Ooh, I 
I'll tell you what, not getting those science in space was a real... I really hamstrung myself doing that. Okay, well, we need the better engines far more than we need the, the nose cone, I think. So let's get a better engine. Uh, now, do we need a radial decoupler or better parachutes and landing? Like, well, we're not going to the moon yet. We've got one more flight. We've got an orbital flight to do before we can go to the moon. So I'm going to take the radial decouplers. But um, all right, awesome. That 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 really ghouls me. But there we go. That's what we're going to do. Um, and with that, as I've got a little bit of oversight, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this incredibly short mission. We will be back next time, hopefully within a couple of days. Where we're going to do the orbital flight and maybe go look at the craters of the moon because everyone likes the craters of the moon, right? Well, anyway, we will see you then doing that. Bye.